Vikings versus Seahawks. Week 14. Seahawks looking very impressive out there. Vikings still have a shot. All that coming up next. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Home the Work Vibes. I am your host. I am your hostess with the mostest. This is Sean Ponder the second. And I welcome you to another edition of Home the Work Vibes. I appreciate you viewing my channel. If you are new, do subscribe to this channel. If you are returning, do like, comment, and share this video out. Hopefully everybody had a great night of sleep last night. I went to sleep kind of late, got up kind of early. It's all right though. One thing is always true. The early bird catches the worm. Last night, we saw two NFC teams fighting for a position to be in the playoffs in their division. Yeah, the 6-5-1 Vikings going up, going up against the seven and five Seahawks. And what a game! What a game! What a game by Russell Wilson. What a game by Russell Wilson. Uh, I think I was pretty close to, uh, I think I was pretty close. Uh, I believe I was close to saying that the, that the Seahawks will beat the Vikings. I was, Similarly close. The final score was 21 to 7 in favor of the Seahawks. Now, the Seahawks have now moved to 8 and 5 on the season, which is very good. The Vikings have now moved to 6 6 and 1, which they still have a chance to go to the, the to the playoffs. You know, they still have a chance to go to the playoffs. Now, Vikings still have a chance to go to the playoffs. The way I see it, they might, they might face the Seahawks. in the wild card. But we don't know that until essentially there are three weeks left in the season. Anything can happen in three weeks. Anything. The Seahawks can go 
11 and 5. Seahawks could go 8 and 8. Vikings, they could go. Nine and six. They could go six and nine. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. And you know, the playoffs are so heavy like it's not like the regular season where you can where if you lose you know you have another week no like I said you lose and you're done you lose and you're primarily done no doubt about it no doubt about it at all you lose that's it that's your season I know a lot of teams this is <laughs> All they have to do is just, just play this season out. But, like I said, the Seahawks, this, this could be their, their, they could win it all or they could lose it all. Who knows? Who knows what could happen? You know, anything can happen. For a host of teams, anything can happen. And I hate to say that, but anything can happen. Anything on ne'er do earth can happen. And how about Russell Wilson? Wow, that that guy still has it. That guy still has it. He might have turned 30, but those legs are still young. Like he was, let's see. Like he was 24 when he first started. Those legs are still young. He still has young legs. And you know what? The thing about Russell Wilson is that he doesn't get he doesn't get fatigued. Well, he does get fatigued, but the thing about it is that he doesn't get hurt because he's a mobile quarterback. And he, during the season, during the offseason, and I've seen it on his Instagram videos, he'll he'll be at the he'll be at the at the beach and just working on his cadences in sand with no f shoes on just his feet working on moves working on working on footwork in out in out up down up down up down up down pause but that's what that's what he does and that's how he's able to stay mobile. He's able to stay he can run from sideline to sideline. He can run sideline to sideline. And he works on his cadences during the season and in the postseason. You know, yeah, he has a family but at the same time he's able to say he's able to go to the gym Get stronger, get better, get stronger, and get faster. And he, at the snap of the finger, boom, he can throw it. 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 Boom, he can run it. He ran 40 yards last night down the sideline. Almost had a touchdown. Almost had a touchdown. But he saw a big defender come up, and he's like, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting out of bounds. I don't want to get hit. He 
that is what a quarterback should do. A quarterback should be able to run it and not be afraid to throw a deep, to throw a deep ball. But the most impressive play of the night was Bobby Wagner. Him jumping over his his fellow teammates to block a field goal from happening. And boy, that sent shockwaves all through Seattle. I was watching the game last night. I saw that. I said, wow. Now that's a that's a Cam Chancellor type move right there. Except Cam Chancellor, and this is not a knock to Bobby Wagner. This is not a knock to Bobby Wagner. I like Bobby Wagner. Cam Chancellor didn't need to didn't need his teammates to to, to lift them over. No, he is versatile as it is. He's versatile as it is. He's got his big frame jumping over a guy to block a, to block a punt, to block a kick. Wow. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the Seahawks have got some have got some tricks up their sleeves. But Bobby Wagner blocking that field goal from happening. That was that was one for that was that was one of the plays to remember. And you know, a lot of people before before Cam Chancellor did what he did, only you you never saw people try and jump over. You saw people on both sides try and get it. But now that Cam Chancellor did it, oh, everybody wants to do it. Cam Chancellor was like the innovator for jumping over people and blocking field goals from happening. That's who Cam Chancellor was. And to see Bobby Wagner do it, that's like, wow. That's like, wow, that's, that's some kind of wonderful right there. But Bobby Wagner is just a, he's a, he's a, he's a great defender. He's a great defender. He is. And he doesn't get the credit that he deserves, but he's starting to get his just due. Now on to the other side, the Vikings. Uh, what can I say about the Vikings? Shoot. about that needed some air real quick you know the Vikings they're they're good they're good but ugh. but they need to step it up I mean Stephon Diggs only had Stephon Diggs. Now that guy is quite a receiver.
But you know, he he made some explosive plays for the Vikings last night. He did, and he showed it last night. Now, the Vikings, as I said. They need to win these last three games to be able to go to the playoffs. Do I think they have it in them? Yes. But the thing about it is that they need to get stronger on offense and defense if they're going to make it deep into the playoffs. Once again, this is a team, as I mentioned last night, who was one win away from going to the Super Bowl. One team, one game away from going to the Super Bowl. And you know what? That one team, that one game before the Super Bowl had heavy implications on things. It did. It did. Now, like I said earlier, this could be a Seahawks Vikings matchup in the playoffs, in the wild card. Who knows what's going to happen? Any, like I said, anything can happen. The Seahawks can win 11. They can go 8 and 11. Or they could go 8 and 8. The Vikings can go 9 and 6 and 1. Or they could go 6, 9 and 1. It, it's. The game could go any way. For the Seahawks, they can't. They can't slip. The Seahawks cannot slip. The Seahawks slip. That's their season right there. Or if they go eight and eight, guess what? They need to win in the in the in the in the uh, in the wild card. I'm telling you right now. Is the Seahawks for the taking or the Seahawks for the losing? One of those two. Same goes for the Vikings. The Vikings is there for the is there for the taking or is there for the losing? But either way, some team, one some team has to win in order to advance to the divisional. So some team has to win in order to go to the divisional. here. Can't wait for Thursday night football. The Chiefs have got the, the Chargers at home. It's going to be one heck of a game. Anyway, I'm going to close this out and say I thank you all for, I thank you for viewing this channel, for viewing my videos. It's, it's, it's extremely worth it. I, you know, I'm trying to get better at doing this. But once again, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. If you are returning, like, comment, and share this video out. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, 
do follow me at Tony Gumbo 21 And remember, live your life the way that you want to live it, not the way that someone else wants you to. I'm Sean Potter, and I'm signing off. Talk to you all later.